Hey, Kirsten, are you there? I have some amazing news. You're not going to believe this, but I'm moving in with you today. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I'm so happy and excited. I can't thank you enough for letting us into your beautiful home. You're so kind and generous. I'm almost done packing our stuff and then I'll be on my way. I can't wait to see you and Jaden. Hold on, what did you just say, Barbara? You're moving in with us? Since when? I don't remember agreeing to any of this. Who decided this? Did you talk to Jaden about this? Well, I did. I decided this because I miss my brother so much and I can't stand living without him. He's always been my everything. And ever since he moved out, I've been so lonely and miserable. I feel like I have no one. I just need to be with you guys. That's why I'm leaving my parents' place and coming to live with you. Haha. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun, right? Wait a minute. You're moving into our house because you miss your brother? That's your reason? Yeah, that's right. That's my reason. You don't know how much he means to me. He's always been there for me since we were kids. He always took care of me. If I was hungry, he would cook for me. And if there was a spider in my room, he would kill it for me. Always made me feel safe and loved. But ever since Jaden married you, he's barely visited me at all. He's always busy with you, work, and your hobbies. He never calls or texts me. And I realized that the only way I could be close to him was by moving in with him. I guess I just can't live without my big brother. <laughs> Barbara, I'm sorry to say this, but Jaden and I made a decision when we got married that we would want some privacy. We wanted to start our own life together. So I don't think you can just barge in with your stuff. You can't just show up uninvited and expect us to welcome you. No, that's not fair. You can't do this to me. He's still my older brother. And you can't keep him away from me. You can't have him all to yourself. I need him to take care of me. And I always get what I need. Are you serious? Is this how you always act with your brother? Are you always this clingy, needy, and selfish? Don't you realize how unhealthy and inappropriate this is? Please, you don't understand. I can't take care of myself. I don't know how to do anything. I'm helpless and hopeless, and mom and dad are useless. They're always nagging me and telling me to learn how to do things for myself. They're always criticizing me and putting me down. But it's not my fault that I always had Jaden to help me. He always did everything for me. I mean, my parents don't even feed me anymore. Do you hear that? They don't even feed me. They expect me to cook for myself. And I don't know how to do that. I don't even know how to boil water. So I need my brother. Okay, I understand that it can be hard to be independent sometimes, but you're an adult, Barbara. I'm sorry, but your parents are not being unreasonable. They're trying to help you grow up and be responsible. And just because you chose to stay with them even after getting married, doesn't mean you can expect them to do everything for you. You have to do some things for yourself. But it was always my brother who did everything for me. He always took care of me. And all I had to do was ask him and he would do it for me. No questions asked, no complaints, no arguments. He was always so sweet and nice and gentle with me. Now I only have my mean old parents who do nothing for me. They don't care about me. That's why I have to live with my brother, okay? I mean, it's just one more person in your house. It's not a big deal. You can't be that mad about having family living with you. 
right? Barbara, I am really sorry, but I've already made myself clear. The fact is that you can't come and live with us, okay? You can't just show up at our doorstep with your bags and expect us to let you in. But why not? Seriously, tell me what is so bad about having one more person coming to live with you. Are you really so heartless that you can't even share your home with your own family? The only reason I want to move in with you guys in the first place is just so that my older brother can take care of me. I need him to look after me and love me and spoil me like he always did. I promise that I won't bother you or annoy you or interfere with you. Please let me come and live with you. I'm sorry, but I've already given you my answer and it is final. Look, the truth is that I'm pregnant right now. So I just don't think we could really handle having someone else in the house with all that's already going on. We have enough stress and worry and responsibility as it is. We have to prepare for the baby and make sure everything is ready and safe and comfortable. We don't have room or time or energy for anyone else. Especially not you. Wait, you're pregnant? Since when? I had no idea. No one told me. You mean I'm going to be an aunt? Wow, that's so exciting. I'm so happy for you and Jaden. This is the best news ever. <laughs> well, we just found out a few weeks ago. We wanted to keep it a secret for a while until we were sure that everything was okay. But anyway, things are already tough enough for us and we have a lot of preparation we need to do before the baby arrives. So again, I'm really sorry, but you just won't be able to live with us. And that's that. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. This works out even better. Don't you get it? I mean, if you're pregnant and struggling, then that is all more the reason for me to go and live with you guys. I can help. And just how do you figure that? Huh? Well, Jaden is probably at work all of the time, right? So that means you'll need an extra hand around the house to help you out during the day, yeah? I also don't have a job or any obligations, so I could just help you with whatever you needed. Wait a second. You don't have a job? What happened? Last I heard you did have one. Did you quit or get fired? Well, after Jaden moved out, I didn't have anyone to complain to all about my work. No matter who I tried to talk to, nobody was interested in hearing it. So the stress just kept building and building until I couldn't take it anymore. In the end, I had had enough and I decided to quit my job. So you really just quit your job because you didn't have anyone to complain to about it? Please tell me that's some kind of joke. Nope, it's the truth. But on the plus side, it means that I can be at home all day and help you out. I mean, I'm sure there are days where you don't feel good while you're pregnant, right? Well, you can just think of me as your living nurse, huh? And then I can help take care of you and my little niece or nephew when they're born. Kristen, are you there? Can you talk to me? I just heard the news from my sister about how she wants to come and live with us. I know that she was really missing me at home, but I didn't think that she would go and do something like this. I didn't think that she would be so bold and reckless and disrespectful. I mean, I know that you told me about how much she adores you and how close you were when you were kids, but this is just crossing the line. You must have been really, really good to her when she was little, Jaden. But now that you did that, she just thinks she can do whatever she wants. 
She just thinks she can get away with anything. Yeah, I guess so. I was just trying to be a good older brother to her, but I guess it ended up backfiring. Now she's just a spoiled little brat who doesn't want to learn how to take care of herself. Then again, maybe that's something that hasn't changed all that much. What do you mean by that, Jaden? I mean, I think that Barbara has honestly been a pretty selfish person ever since she was little. Whenever things didn't go her way, she would always burst into tears. She wouldn't stop crying until she got what she wanted. But my parents were also so stubborn about not giving in that every day was just a nightmare in the house. Honestly, I probably did things for Barbara just because I wanted to keep the peace in the house. Just because I wanted to avoid the drama and the chaos. I see. I had no idea that things were that bad in the house when you were growing up, Jaden. It must have been tough trying to play the peacemaker like you did at such a young age. Barbara told me about how you would cook for her when she was hungry, and kill bugs for her when they were in her room. It sounds like you did so much just to make things easier in the house. I know. But it wasn't just for my family, you know? It was just as much for myself. So I didn't lose my mind. But there were other motives as well. You know how I got hired as a head chef at that restaurant recently? Well, I used Barbara to test out a bunch of recipes that I was working on. And I killed the bugs in her room because I didn't want them crawling into mine later on. That's why I even kept her room clean for her. I see. Well, I guess that all makes sense. But still, it can't have been easy on you. It wasn't, but it is true that I did whatever my sister asked of me. Although, if I'm being honest, it always shocked me at how selfish she was. And I think over time I grew to really resent that she has never really appreciated just how much I was doing for her. I thought that when you and I got married, that I was finally going to be free of her. Well, if it's any consolation, I tried to tell her that we just wouldn't be able to take her in and let her live with us. I told her about the pregnancy and everything, but she just wouldn't listen to me. She just wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, I think that if she sees what it's like to live with us, then she'll go running back to mom and dad. I'll even call them and tell them that this won't last long and to keep her room as is. Well, okay. If you're sure about this, I guess having her here for a few days wouldn't be the worst thing. But ugh, I hope you're right. I hope she'll realize that she can't just come and live with us. Kirsten, what is the matter with you? Are you seriously going back to your parents' house? What for? I don't understand it. How can you deprive me of seeing what my little niece or nephew is going to look like when they're born? I want to be part of your family. Well, I don't want any of that. And that's why I'm going back to stay with my parents for the time being. I was never going to do this originally, but I just can't stand being around you anymore. So you're saying that this is all my fault? Don't be ridiculous. Just what's wrong with me wanting to be a good aunt and be there for you, my sister-in-law, on the day that you give birth? Because that's just it. You're my sister-in-law and nothing else. This is going to be a big emotional day for me and I would rather be with my parents than around you for it. You know that Jaden and I told you that you would only be allowed to stay with us for a week, right? Well, it's been two months and you're still in her house just being a freeloader. I've been so stressed out during that time that I just don't think I'll even be able to have this baby with you around. But I'm not even doing anything. How can you be so cruel to me for just wanting to be there for you? It's not like I'm partying all night or blasting loud music or anything. I have to get up several times in the middle of the night and I hardly feel like I get any sleep at all. But at all hours of the night, I can hear you walking around the house and making all kinds of racket even if it's not loud music. I can hear the noise from whatever video games it is that you're playing coming from your room at almost all hours of the day. Even during the daytime, I can hardly ever get a moment to rest. I can hardly ever get a moment of peace and quiet. 
If your hearing is really that sensitive, then maybe you should just walk around the house with earplugs. You're really telling me that I should have to walk around my own home with earplugs so that you can play your games? You're the guest here. You should be mindful of your host's needs after being here for so long. I mean, all you do is play games and eat. You never do anything to help out around the house at all. Hmm. All of that sounds like your problem, if you ask me. Besides, all you do is lie around the house, too. You really think that just because you're pregnant, you can be resting all day like that? That really can't be good for the baby, you know? That's why I leave all the work for you to do. So it'll motivate you to move around more. Are you kidding me? Do you think this is some sort of game or something? Of course not. I'm just trying to get the mother of my niece or nephew off her butt and moving around. Before I came here, you were probably just making my brother do all of the work for you, weren't you? You keep trying to act like I'm the selfish one, but you're the one who needs to keep relying on others for help. All I'm doing is keeping you on your feet and making sure that you don't fall out of practice when it comes to being a good housewife. Oh, you have got to be kidding me with that, right? You really think I'm going to buy any of that? If you think you're stressed, then I'm really, really stressed. And instead of dealing with the problem, you're just running away to your parents' house so that you don't have to clean the house. Well, if you're leaving, then I guess that means I'll be taking my brother back. I've already canceled the lease on your place and I'll be taking my brother and moving back home with him. Wait, what? What do you mean? You canceled the lease on our place? How could you do that? Ha ha, you can't be mad at me. You can't blame me for this. Don't act like you're the victim here. Even Jaden said that he was fine with this. He said that you weren't good enough to be his wife. He told me he was just using you to have a kid and that's it. But now you're about to have the kid. That means it's time to get rid of this house and for Jaden and I to live together forever. And you really expect me to believe that? You really expect me to fall for that? Jaden just went along and agreed to all of this. Of course he did. I told you that my brother would do anything for me, didn't I? Well, here's just another example. You must have had no idea that he was so stressed out living with you, huh? But he was so happy to hear that you were finally going to leave us alone. I don't believe you. I don't think that Jaden would ever do something like that. He would never hurt me like that. Well, he did. And now I'm taking this chance to take my brother back from you. Now I'm taking this chance to reclaim what's mine. Haha, <laughs> you were so spoiled that you couldn't see that you were driving everyone away from yourself this whole time. Right, well, good luck with that. Have a nice life, Barbara. That's what I meant to say to you, loser. Haha. <laughs> You don't even have a home to go back to. And the moment that you have your kid, you are going to be getting divorce papers from Jaden. They are already in the mail. So just go ahead and sign them and let him and I live in peace already, okay? We don't want you in our lives anymore. No, I'm afraid that it's you who is going to be living alone, Barbara. Or at the very least, with your parents. What are you talking about? You have no idea what you're saying. I've won back Jaden. I'm going to get Jaden, not you. Why are you even mentioning my parents in this conversation? I guess you'll find out what I'm talking about soon enough. Good luck with everything, Barbara. Hey? Just what the heck is going on here, huh? 
why am I getting taken here? Do you seriously expect me to live here from here on out? You mean you've already arrived? Wow, that was really fast. I guess that Jaden must have gotten off work early just to get rid of you then. What are you talking about? Jaden told me that he was going to take us to our new home. He said it'd be for him and I. So I packed up my bags, threw them in the car, and we drove off. And now I see that he's just taking me to that awful lodge our relatives run out in the boonies. He even told me I was going to be living and working here. Oh, did he say that? Well, I guess it sounds to me like you've been tricked. We tried to ask you to leave our house over and over again, but you just wouldn't listen. You have no one to blame but yourself for this. What are you talking about? I still have no idea what's really going on here. You better explain to me what is going on right now. Am I seriously supposed to work here? Jaden told me that as soon as I stepped out of the car, and by the time I turned around to ask him what he meant, he had already driven off. You need to tell me what is going on right now. Just calm down, Barbara. It really is quite simple. The fact is that Jaden and I are both sick of having you live with us. So... We came up with a plan that we were sure would trick you into leaving our home. Wait, so Jaden lied to me? That's right. We tried to get you to move out over and over again, but nothing seemed to work. And because you weren't doing anything to help around the house at all, we knew that we had to do something. I was just getting so stressed out and was really starting to reach my limit with you. So... Jaden told me to go to my parents' house while he took care of you. But wait, I thought that Jaden and I were the ones that had chased you out of the house. Jaden and I were supposed to finally live together again. <laughs> you really thought that was going to happen? But I just... Jaden always does what I say, and he knows that he can never say no to me. I always get my way. How could he trick me like this? It isn't fair. I hate this. Well, I'm afraid that your brother has been fed up with your antics for some time now. What do you mean? My brother loves doing things for me. That's why I always gave him a bunch to do. Well, if that were the case, then why did your brother lie to you and drive you out to that lodge? And it sounds to me like you got tricked and you just haven't faced up to reality yet. No, this can't be happening to me. My brother wouldn't do this to me. He wanted to live with me too. He's always taking care of me. And I was sure that was still the case. You still just don't get it, do you? All your selfish actions over the years just drove him to hate you. Ever since he was little, you've been making him run around and do everything for you, just so that you wouldn't throw a tantrum. And even when you grew up, you still just never learned to take care of yourself or be grateful to those doing things for you. You took advantage of your brother's kindness and never once thanked him for it. No, this can't be happening. I know that my brother loves me. You think you were getting your brother to love you more by constantly making him do everything for you? You think he enjoyed doing all the cooking and bug killing and room cleaning for you because you were too much of a spoiled brat to do it yourself? I just... I never thought about it like that at all. It's clear to me that you probably never thought about anyone but yourself this entire time. You've been nothing but a burden on your whole family because you think the world owes you everything. All while you do nothing at all to pay back or show gratitude to those around you. But I just wanted to live with my older brother. This isn't fair. You both can't do this to me. I didn't do anything to deserve this. If you really feel that way, then I think working at that lodge your relatives own is going to be a good experience for you. 
Maybe you'll finally learn what it means to earn your own way through this world and what it's like to do things for others for once. This isn't a good thing. I don't want to learn any of that. I just wanted my brother to do everything for me. Besides, my aunt who runs this place is really strict. She'll work me to the bone. I seriously doubt that. It sounds to me like you're just scared to do a decent day's work is all. So you're really just going to leave me here? What am I supposed to do? How do I leave? Can I even leave? I don't want to do this. If you don't want to do this, you can always just walk home. But you'll still have to figure out where you'll go after that. Neither your parents nor Jaden or I want you living with us. But you can't do this to me. Please. I don't want things to be like this. They were supposed to go my way, like they always have. Why would you do this to me? A few months later, Barbara's parents actually went up to the lodge for a vacation and to catch up with their relatives up there. Barbara was sure that they had come to take her back, and she greeted them with her packed bags and a hopeful smile. But her parents told her that they had just come home to see if she had done any growing up at all in the time since she began her new job. They quickly learned that Barbara was not adjusting well and still acted like a spoiled child. They were disappointed and angry with her, and they ended their stay early to go home without her. They even sold their house and moved out to the country so that not even Barbara could find them. They wanted to cut off all ties with her and start a new life without her. <laughs>